I'm now joined by Christian Kleinerman, EVP of product at Snowflake, along with Alex Izadorczyk, co-founder and CEO of Cybersyn. Such a pleasure to have you both back on Data Cloud Now. Happy to be here. Great to be here. It's Snowflake Super Bowl. Christian, Snowflake announced a number of innovations today. What were some of the highlights and how will these announcements benefit partners like Cybersyn for the years to come? Yeah, well, we covered a lot of ground, so I'm, I'm going to high level summarize. We, ha we have sort of three sections. One is around data foundation. How do we help organizations have a solid data strategy? A big aspect of that is around data governance. We had capabilities on data quality, monitoring, observability of data. So a lot of how we help organizations, A, know their data better, B, control and have policies in the data. We had announcements around application development and how do we help the entire life cycle, building, testing, uh, releasing, and ultimately monitoring. And the last piece, of course, was around AI and how do we simplify the process needed to benefit from large language models, generative AI in general, and this is where Cortex AI is our core offering that simplifies the entire uh, life cycle of operations. In, in terms of uh, advice or, or opportunity more than advice for someone like, like Alex, um, I think AI has the potential to enrich, enhance, and in some instances disrupt pretty much everything that is available. Um, I think, Alex, you are already using Cortex for some of the use cases, and that is what we want to see. Start with existing uh, use cases that can be improved or made uh, more robust or more reliable, or even better from a quality results through Cortex AI. So AI, I think, is a safe answer for anyone that wants to go and figure out how to add more value. Thank you, Christian. Alex Cyberson recently released new Snowflake data sets on Snowflake Marketplace. What impact will this breakthrough have on the broader ecosystem, and what have you been hearing from customers thus far? Sure. Well, look, first let me quote Sridhar in saying, you know, there's no AI strategy without a data strategy. Um, so I think first and foremost, I think the data that we're releasing on Snowflake Marketplace powers a lot of other partners and a lot of customers' AI use cases. But specifically, this summit, we focused on consumer spending, and specifically for the retail CPG sector. A lot of these data sets allow our customers to look at a very granular level into how their retail operations, their competitors' retail operations are performing. And we think that's pretty unique, and we've gotten to use a lot of the features Christian mentioned in public and private preview to get that done. It's great to hear, Alex. Now, I want to cover a topic that we touched on a little bit at the beginning of this, but what advice would you both like to share with the audience watching on how to maximize AI's impact within their collective organizations? Alex, let's start with you. Yeah, well, look, I think uh, Peter Thiel had a great quote that we were promised flying cars and we got 140 characters. And I think in data management, it's been sort of the reverse. So people have seen the cool, shiny stuff with LLMs like chatbots or you know, really proprietary data coming from news publishers and said, that's what you need to succeed. And I guess the advice I would give and, and what Cybersyn has really benefited from is the more practical applications of Cortex to our data pipelines. So the same problems you've had in data management for forever. So data cleaning, fuzzy joining, semi-structured data extraction, like these are the things that can be solved here and now. And that Cybersyn has used Cortex to basically solve. Um, and you know, some of the new features today, so fine tuning being in public preview, it's another great example where you can go a step further and make it sort of production grade. So I guess my, my overarching me message and where we've been super successful has been really focusing on, okay, what are the persistent problems that all data providers have and how do we use Cortex to solve those? And I think, to Christian's point, it's going to completely upend the cost structure of data as a service. And if we do that, then I think ultimately our clients benefit because we afford to give more and more data away for free on Marketplace. Great to hear, Alex. Christian, anything you'd like to add? My, my, my answer would have been along the, the same lines. We all want to chat with data. We all want to have advanced generative use cases and multi-step workflows and agents, which we have people doing with, with Cortex AI. But, but Alex is spot on. There are very simple initial steps that everyone can take to start getting benefit from uh, AI. Like an example is I have a set of values from a data quality perspective. How do you validate 
that that is a real entity or a real name or how do I canonicalize uh, entities? Simple things like that, Cortex AI is ready for that and you don't need a different project, a different team, oftentimes not even a different budget, just it's very adjacent to what you're already doing but you can get better results. I think that's what you're doing. Yeah, I think that's right, I think that's right. Great to hear, gentlemen. It's clearly all happening here at Snowflake Summit. What's next for Snowflake plus Cybersyn? Alex, you want to lead us off? We're focusing on more granular data and also taking advantage of Snowflake container services to start launching some of the dashboards products as sort of native applications. I think, you know, SPCS is really exciting because it's going to allow us to launch you know, full-on SaaS-like applications that look like they're independent SaaS applications, but lean on Snowflake for governance, for security, and ultimately for access to the customer's first-party data as well. Looking forward to seeing what's next. And Christian, from your lens. Uh, for, for us, it's enabling partners like Alex, but I would say CyberZen is at the forefront. Like You're like the dream data provider, even application provider, stream lead experience provider, and that gives us a, a lot of visibility on this is where things are going, this is where our product is working really well, this is where we had an opportunity to do better, remove friction. So we, we love the partnership with, with Alex and, and his team because he is helping us go make sure that the innovation and the investments that are happening on our side are geared towards enabling businesses and, and, and data products like what he does. So, so we're very excited about the partnership and look forward to continue to partner with you. Awesome. Christian, Alex, such a pleasure to have you both back on I have Data one Climate. more thing. So we've spent this great conference receiving so much Snowflake swag, but we haven't given anything back. So I've got a little hat for Christian here. Oh, wow. Featuring the Cyberson logo. <laughs> I love it. And it matches, almost matches yeah, my gray. almost matches, today. we tried. Gentlemen, such a pleasure, thank you so much. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you so much. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. I'll see you soon.